Good morning. Andy here, VW Coco. Um, 1st of October, Sunday the 1st. Where's the time gone? Right. Thought I'd spend a couple of hours out the workshop. Not been out here much recently. Um, back on the 72 bug Monday. I work from home on a Monday, so that'd be good. Got the rat bags with me. Mrs. Coco's helping a friend repaint a flat. Eldest took the daughter out, so why not pop up for a couple hours? Right, I think what I'll tackle in a minute is this wiring. And I've just undone the fuse box. What I want to try to do is see if we can turn the engine, get it to turn over before we bring it home, because it is going to come home. I'll do all the bodywork repairs. Um, grind it all back in the home garage, but that's the plan. Yeah, we, we remove the windscreen wiper motor. Also, we've got old wiring from the radio. That can all go. And we'll see what other rust issues we find in this lower panel here. But it's good coming out to a clean workshop. It's, I'd say, all but done. So you can see at the back here, and I'll put the light on. There you go. 71 bay. With the popping and banging from the exhaust, I think it's uh, air leak. So we're vacuum leak, you know, we'll check all that. But here's all the gear stuff. Nice little pallet. Got a few items for sale if you're loco in the UK. I've got loads of bay window stuff. I'll be keeping the beams. That's a split screen narrow, narrow beam I'll be selling. That's my wizard doors. But yeah, easily walk around, get at the engine. Love it, got the welders there. The engine's there. Drill. That one there, hydraulic shop press. So Craig Hanlon, I have got one. Brilliant little tools. Yeah, starting to get there. Hello, Stanley. First of October, I can't believe it. Got the bloody devil's ear, look. All ready for Halloween, these two. Right, let me set you up. And we'll undo the windscreen wiper. I'm going to... Write everything down like I do. Is it ever a menace? And we start chopping some wires out and let's have a look at that fuse box. Right. Right, got my new buck. 72 Carmen gear. Wiper motor removal. Top nut is a 13 mil. And we've got one in behind, a 17 mil. So... Let's get at it. Wiggle, wiggle. Stainless steel arm. We've got rubber grommet. And now the 17 mil. Easy as that. What we do, I'll do a bench test later on. In fact, I can do one here when I tidy up the old, as a little, yeah, when I tidy up the wire I'm getting. There you go. Bag it and tag it, as usual. I'll just give that a little tappity tap. So we just a little bit. All right, let's get it the other side.
move you around. So I said, I've just sped this up. It's a bit boring. There you go. Way down. One even tight. Your thirteen mil. Up. Wiggle, wiggle. Just a little, little. Spring action, a solid, good arms, happy days. You rubber, that's your rubber cap protecting the nut, doing it going rusty like the rest of the car. So just prise it off, just prise it off with a screwdriver. There you go, just covering the nuts like the other side. 17 mil, lovely jubbly. Just easy, just use a socket, but. Oi, can you hear the rust? Where the water is sat underneath. Oh well. Wow. Oh. Ho, ho. So we're getting more nice and clean the threads. Center piece out of the in a minute. Need a ratchet, really. See, so the other side was. Struggling here, guys. He's like sunken down. Maybe he's just got a socket. Let's get a socket. All good. All good in the hood. All right. Put all this together for a minute. Give him a love tap. Right, now that's undone. We're wiggling them out. Usually they've got a bracket to hold the wiper up. Like here. <laughs> right, let me get a 10 mil. Hold on. Crazy, you tidy up your garage and you lose stuff. Right, so where are you? Here we go. You see by the paint, it's been pink, orange, green. Green ain't the factory colour. I may, um, see this is a keeper. I may contact Wolfberg. Wolfberg's in um, Germany. Get the Build sheet, that'd be good. I think it's about 60 quid, yeah, about 70 dollars. So, also, the money 
I'm making on YouTube, which is peanuts, plus a donation. So thanks very much for that. Um, yeah, it's going towards the gear. I'm buying some parts next week. So I'm happy because they're hard to find in the UK. So that a little bit off them. But it all helps. But thanks, I'm sorry about putting the adverts in, but that's what they have advised me to do, to make the peanuts. Come on. Is that a nut in behind, is it? It's only a nut in behind. Tight, tight, tight. He's tight. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's him. Laughing it. Yeah, I do like this gear. Brilliant comments on the 72 bug on welding up. Like I said in the video, it's not going to be a nice beetle, but he's been saved and previous owner then, well, the next owner. You can get it all stripped in like a restoration project, you know, when you retire and all that. But for the minute, I want to get it solid, working. There's been news on the patina plug as well next week. Exciting times ahead. Yeah, he's been screwing now. Yeah, it's a 72 gear. I would say in the 90s, obviously he's had the cow look because it was no front bumpers, indicators behind the front grills, which someone pointed out in the videos, so thanks for that. And he's been painted pink and orange, which was colors back in the day. Right. Bag it and tag it. And there he is. I want to leave the wiring as it is, even though I'm going to do the complete wiring. I just want to see if we can get him going. But out the way, at least now I can take it home and do all the mechanism. Let's see, works. Yeah, I'm going to have to follow the wires, I think, and drag this one out. See, he's caught up now. He's caught up on the stereo wire, so they can be snipped off. All right, don't want to bore you anymore. Let me snip them radio wires off and get him out. Still connected. So just snip these. That was an arf going for there. We should. I'll grab the wires this in. Slowly pop out. Then what I'll do now, follow these wires and start removing them. They're just connected everywhere. There's a, there'll be a speaker back there. Is that speaker wire there? It comes all the way down. That way. Wiggle wiggly thing here. I love wiring. You've seen in some videos I've done complete wiring loom. But all I want to do first is to get the engine turned over, like I've said just now. Yeah, that's a nice view of it. So, let's see where that one goes.
He's out of the way anyway, so get out them off camera. Right, just had a friend who I not seen for about four years turn up. He's been here two hours and uh, yeah, good catch up. So just chasing up the speaker wires now, look, you can see. And I think I'll leave that one here. But at least we got the fuse box out. In the next video, we'll pull it out and see if we can get stuff working. So at least wires, look, just disconnect. That one there, look, there's another connector there. So let, let me just quickly snip that. The dogs have been good as gold. I've been here about four hours. Ain't done much work, but it's a Sunday. Just in case, pulling the dead wires out. Oh, the bird's nest. But look how tiny that is, just by removing the old stereo wires. At least we're getting down, seeing what's working and not. Yeah, that's a double connector there, they're all tied into what? Where does that one go in? One's, there's one end, the join, going to some switch on the dash. Right. That's enough of that rubbish. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments on the 72 Beetle. Free to a good home. Dougie up in Scotland, you a couple dash owns. They've been good boys, good boys. They've had a pig's ear to eat whilst the year. So, start to crack on the wiring. Cheers, like, comment and subscribe.